I feel so weird without my glasses. <laughs> Anyways, hey guys, what's going on? So today we are on, I think, episode two of the Cloud Harem Tank, and I am going to be building the stand. Yay! Today I'm just gonna be doing like the framework, the frame that the stand is gonna be on, and explain why I'm doing the way I'm doing it. Anyways, guy um, was over there staring at me like I'm just talking to my phone, but anyways, so yeah, uh, let's go. I'm at Home Depot right now, so I need to go pick up some wood. I already got everything mesh, pre-measured. I'm having cut it there because I do not have my own cutter. I don't trust myself. And let's go. So yeah, for the rest of the video, you're going to hear my voice. Um, I had a bunch of footage of me talking through my design and screwing it in and everything that I was doing to make this framework for my stand. And long story short, when you're working inside of a garage that is 95 degrees, your phone overheats. So I lost all of my footage because I was dumb and I didn't check to see it was recording. So good job, Josh. Anyway, so yeah, pretty much here. The only footage I have is me taking the stuff out of my car and kind of setting down the initial framework. So for my design, you'll see it in a little bit. Basically what I'm doing is I'm going to have a four legs and I'm going to have some beams that are going to support the majority of the weight. These legs are not going to be supporting the weight. I will have beams nailed to the side of these or screwed into the side of these that support most of the weight. And yeah, I just can't believe I lost all my footage. This is, yeah, it sucks. Fudge. <sighs> Fudge. But, yeah, now I'm just kind of stalling, but you can see the initial, like, framework, and I lose my footage now. So, yeah, this is the final product of my stand. As you can see, the, um, the actual stand itself, or the rectangular frame, is sitting on some boards, and that holds the majority of the weight. You never want the stand to actually sit or be held up by nails, because it'll eventually give out and crash the bottom, but... I'm pretty happy with it. I was kind of tight on space because uh, this room was going in the room above the attic and the room was slanted so I could only go up so high. And there's going to be plumbing in the back so it'll be good once everything's done. But overall I was happy with the stand. I My measurements worked out and I was able to fit a 40 gallon breeder for my sump that I will be converting to a sump in a later video. But as you can see my stand works. I will have room to put a skimmer, that was something I did not do when I built my 125 gallon. So overall, I'm happy with it. I'm sorry it wasn't a better DIY video, um, I think Missouri weather in 95 degrees, so yeah. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, have a great day, and uh, keep on reefing, and remember to check record.